Hey everybody, it's Reese and Valisa, and guess what day it is? It is Flirty Friday. Flirty Friday. And guess where we are? Can you guys guess? Let's take a look out there. Uh, you guys know how much we love the water. And you know how much we love to travel. Okay. So we went on up to North Carolina. Yep. Have y'all ever heard of Cape Fear? Oh yeah, we are yes. right on the Cape here yes. and so we came up to um, a spot just south of Wilmington this is uh, we went to uh, Curie Beach and Carolina Beach mm -hmm. and then we took the uh, ferry over from um, Fort Fisher Fort Fisher, took the Fort Fisher fer ferry over to yeah, Southport yeah thank you sir <laughs> he said we took a good picture thank you yeah so we're down here now um, on the island we're on Southport Island and we love it guys we love it we just got a little tour bus coming in here right now and we're just hanging out just you know enjoying ourselves and this is the week the kids are away for uh, Palmetto Bible, Bible camp. camp so they're at sleepaway camp so yes. while the uh, cat's away the mice will play so we the are going mice. to make sure we have a good time we have one full day left until our children return home. that's right praise God God that's willing right. <laughs> so this is just once again a reminder guys that you know try to squeeze every last try to time that you can together as a couple yes. and you know do it really ignites your passions what makes you feel grateful just to be alive and for Valise and I it's always being the water discovering new beach towns yes. getting some sunshine and some vitamin D oh, therapy definitely getting some sun <laughs> that's right and I get to wear my favorite hat my little straw hat I gotta get another one of these we just want to say hey guys it's, 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 there's never um, you know uh, uh, you know a specific reason that's needed for you to get out and enjoy yourselves that's and right. connect with each other. So anytime you have an opportunity to go to a favorite place for us, we actually like the beach, but we also like the mountains. And so sometimes we get out there, but it really doesn't matter. The location doesn't matter as long as you get out and you enjoy one another. That's right. So this today we're going to be yeah. antiquing. We're going to go to a really popular spot here on the island called Fishy Fishy. Yeah. Uh, two or three lunch. people for lunch. Mm -hmm. Two or three people recommended. So as we got off the ferry, we drove around. We walked on, you know, the shore. Yeah. We met a beautiful couple. We must wow. have talked to them for about an hour. At least an hour. And yeah. they had just moved here from Michigan and South Southern California. And out of everywhere that they visited in their lifetime, their they towns. chose Southport, North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. It is a very quaint town, less than 3,000 people. Yep. They're known for their Fourth of July special celebration. Mm -hmm. and it is such a sweet place we have a lot of peace here yeah. we were able to pray with them yeah. and just have a really blessed right. afternoon it's very peaceful there's not a whole bunch of rigmarole going on <laughs> but, <laughs> but it was it's just beautiful and peaceful yeah and it's just one of those things that um, well what we wanted to share with you guys before we leave today mm -hmm. is the week did not start off the greatest because Belisa got Ooh, sick uh, very very sick oh, and what was going um, on? we were already here so um, <laughs> we tried to make the best of it we had a you know a beautiful uh, little Airbnb we were staying at and yeah. we were five minute walk to the beach mm -hmm. but Belisa was not doing well so no, I just didn't feel good y'all yeah. so I actually the one good thing is that I got plenty of rest, rest and I think needed. my body just said you know what girl you just been shut doing too much we're just gonna shut you down for a couple days that's right and it was just two days but yeah I got a lot of rest but then we were able to just go out get to the beach around. and today was our last day we have four days here that's right. Today was the last day. We're like, we're not gonna drive on home. We're just gonna go someplace Hop unique. On the ferry. And that's where we um, discovered this beautiful place yep. online. Absolutely. Yeah, we stumbled across it. Yeah, and one of the things that Valise and I have noticed that is really, really powerful for our marriage, for our relationship, mm -hmm. is discovering new places. That's um, right. Even experiences. from the very beginning, when we were courting and dating, we always enjoyed, you know, finding new experiences, going right. to new beautiful places, um, and just being, you know somewhat adventurous and what we have learned is that you know you really need to just sometimes have a, a change of scenery That's right it. Lisa it, it gets you out of a rut it yes. puts you in a better place spiritually a little bit of a spark renews things renews your interests kind yeah. of shakes things up a bit and what I know from myself is that my love language is quality time yeah so I live for experiences in fact I have my rose colored glasses on because when things <laughs> don't go right listen I get upset I throw yeah. a little temper tantrum but today I read a chapter in a book 
that it's called the success principles i yeah. believe by mm -hmm. jack canfield, canfield. Yep. and the first principle is 100 percent responsibility take 100 percent accountability for your life mm -hmm. so i'll talk about that a little later but one thing it doesn't matter what the circumstances are that happens to you yes you control the outcome the way You're, you respond actually you control the way you respond yep and so that was what we were saying you yeah. know i was sick the weather was windy one day whatever whatever However it was, we were going to have a wonderful time, whether it was pouring, raining, or whether it was this beautiful, God-given day that we got today. Yeah, and we've had I both. I love experiences. Yep, it rained this morning, but it, you know, it's just a Clear reminder mm -hmm. and a metaphor for your life, That's for right. marriage, that you're gonna have some rain sometimes. That's right. And you're gonna have sunny, beautiful days like today, Yay, right? Yes. But, but with a beautiful, strong marriage with God in the middle That's and right. two people That's who are foundation. working hard, That's right. you will weather uh, the bad days and the storms and the sunny, beautiful days like this will be that much sweeter. That's right. Right? So that is what we wanted to share with you. Mm -hmm. No matter what your circumstances are, go ahead and take them lemons and make lemonades. Or if it's a beautiful, beautiful thing, just sit and enjoy it. That's right. Another lesson real quick before we leave is just mindfulness. That's right. Making sure that you're present in the moment whatever's going on you're staying present and you're staying clear with the focus on who christ that's right just be present guys and enjoy every minute amen that's all we have so that's all we got for y'all today we yes. love you we hope you guys have a beautiful uh rest of your day and this yes. weekend and we look forward to seeing you guys real soon but go ahead and make the most of this beautiful day have a blessed weekend guys love you bye guys